Hey, welcome back. Decided to uh, grace myself with my own pleasure. <laughs> That's always good. So tonight, just for fun, we're gonna read a little bit out of uh, Where the Sidewalk Ends. It's a wonderful book. You should pick it up. It's cheap on Amazon. So we got The Silver Fish. Here. First picture. Check that out. I have not prepared this one. I have no idea what I'm about to read. While fishing in the Blue Lagoon, I caught a lovely silver fish. And he spoke to me, my boy, quoth he, please set me free and I'll grant you your wish. A kingdom of wisdom, a palace of gold, or all the goodies your fancies can hold. So I said, okay, and I threw him him free and he swam away and he laughed at me whispering my foolish wish into a silent sea today i caught that fish again that lovely silver prince of fishes and once again he offered me if i could only set him free any num any one of number of wonderful wishes he was delicious <laughs> that's good i like that uh let's see what else can we go for? Ah, the one who stayed. Healthy, right? Yeah. The one who stayed. You should have heard the old man cry. You should have heard the bibbies. Oh, no, biddies, bibbies. When that sad stranger raised his flute and piped away the kitties, Katie, Tommy, Meg, and Bob followed skipping gaily Red-haired Ruth, my brother Rob, and, and little crippled Bailey. John and Nils and cousin Claire dance and spin and turnin'. Cross the hills to God knows where, they never came returnin'. Cross the hills to God knows where, the piper pranced a-leading. Each child in Hamlin town but me, and I stayed home unheeded. My papa says that I was blessed, for if that music found me, I'd be witch cast like all the rest. This town grows old around me. I cannot say I did not hear that sound so haunting hollow. I heard, I heard, I heard it clear. I was afraid to follow. Now that has some pretty good meaning. Don't follow stupidity, right? So kind of out of bedtime stories. So I figured I'd give you some random facts because my wife says that, you know, I'm full of random facts of Chris. So where did that name come from? Here's some good ones for you. WD-40. Any guesses? All right, no. In 1953, the Rocket Chemical Company began developing a rust prevention solvent for the aerospace industry. The name WD-40 indicates that the product, product does water displacement and how many attempts it took to perfect it. 40 attempts. Not bad. Today that would be uh, not in production. Uh, Starbucks. Moby Dick was the favorite book of one of the three founders of this coffee empire. He wanted to name the com company after the story's fabled ship Pequod. I know I said that wrong. But he and his partners re reconsidered and settled instead on the name of the ship's first mate, Starbuck. Yeah, go get your coffee on a ship. Google. In the 1930s, mathematician Edwin K. Kasner asked his young nephew to think of a word that could mean a very large number, one followed by 100 zeros. Stefan's chomping at the bit for this one. The boy, Milton Sirota, came up with Google. The creators of the world's most popular search engine varied the spelling and adopted it to represent an infinite amount of information. Like me. M&M's, chocolate pellets coated in sugar, were popular in Britain for decades under the brand name Smarties. Hmm, I like Smarties. When Forrest Mars, son of the founder of the Mars Candy Company, saw soldiers eating them during the Spanish Civil War, no, not the Spanish pandemic, ignore that, 
Yeah. He and his partner, R. Bruce Marie, bought the U.S. rights, but there was already an American candy product called Smarties. So Mars and Murray used their initials to form the new brand name, M&M's. Gap, the cheapest clothing store on the planet. Don and Doris Fisher opened their first store in 1969 to meet the unique clothing demands of customers between childhood and, and adulthood, identified and popularized then as the Generation Gap. So random facts, bedtime stories. See you soon. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Still COVID-19 free around here. And actually, I think the next time we see each other on here, if we do, I might just make a grilled cheese sandwich with mayo. I heard it's good. We'll see. Good night. See you. Until next time.